Midge, it wasn't the greatest spectacle today, but we got the job done. It was a professional performance, a goal in each half. And is that important that we were able to grind out wins like we did against Darlington last week and still pick up the three points? Yeah, I think it's a testament to the lads' character, really. You know, Jay said in there that, you know, that they're the games that you need, you need to win, the teams that are in and around you. You know, and if you can grind a result out when you're not particularly at your best, it's a sign of a team that's going to be there or thereabouts. And the second half, um, the biggest moment in the game, I think the turning point, it could be a big moment in the season, was the penalty saved by Matt Gould. Were you confident when uh, Robert stepped up that Gould was going to get a hand at that? Well, it was funny, I turned to Jay and said he hasn't saved one this season, because I obviously asked you about the stats of how many would get away in the season. I said he's due a save, uh, and he managed to save it, you know, and the typical the rebound falls to him, and you just think he's going to read it in. Uh, lucky for us on the day, he edited over, and that gives us a platform, a little bit of a lift that we need to go up the other end and, and get the second goal and practically kill the game off. And we limited Chester a few chances today, but was it quite frustrating that we gave away maybe another penalty because it allows them a, a route back into the game? Yeah, I think, like you say, you know, we've got to stop doing that. You know, I think we've given seven penalties away now this season, maybe it's eight. Um, that's too many for this level to give away. Um, we need to make sure that we, we stop doing that and giving teams easy easy chances to, to convert from that close uh, 1v1, really. Um, if we do that, we, we're not looking like conceding, not in play, as you say. Gouldy hasn't had an awful lot to do. Um, but yeah, we look quite solid. In open play. And Glenn obviously signed his contract this week. He's topped off a, a good week for himself with his 22nd goal of the season. All competitions. Not the, the best of strikes, but he'll take them all. I I think that's too close for him now. We, we expect him 30 yard volleys, pile drivers from free kicks. Um, but that, that, that's why he's the best in the league, in my opinion, because he can score every type of goal. He can score ones in the round the box. He scores headers, he scores thumpers, he scores volleys. He, he practically does do the lot. You know, he, he is, in my opinion, the best striker in the league. And we're really glad to have him for another two and a half years. And up to third in the league now, given the results elsewhere where Bradford Park Avenue got beaten. Four consecutive wins. Do you think we've really peaked at the right time of the season? Uh, it's still a long way to go. Uh, it's the old cliche, you take each game as it comes. But, you know, we've, we've got a good good solid running now and we just need to keep winning games as they come to us. Um, every point's vital, freeze are better. But we just need to make sure that we, we don't get inconsistent and, and keep making sure we put points on the board.